Welcome to a presentation about retinal tear brought to you by your neighborhood doctors. Please remember that we will cover the topic in general terms. Please consult your doctors for specific questions pertaining to you. An analogy for a retinal tear is like a rip in a fabric. Just like a rip in fabric, a retinal tear is an injury to the eye that can cause vision problems. The retina is the light-sensitive layer of tissue at the back of the eye, and when it tears, it can cause fluid to leak into the area and create scar tissue. This scar tissue can pull on the retina and cause it to detach from the back of the eye, leading to vision loss. Just like a rip in fabric needs to be repaired, a retinal tear needs to be treated with laser surgery or cryotherapy in order to prevent further damage and preserve vision. Retinal tears can cause a variety of symptoms, including flashes of light in the peripheral vision, flutters, which are small spots or lines that appear to move across the field of vision, blurred vision, decreased night vision, a curtain or veil over part of the visual field, a sudden increase in the number of flutters. Retinal tear is a condition that can affect people of all ages, genders, and backgrounds. It is most common in people over the age of 40, but it can occur in younger individuals as well. People who are nearsighted or have had a previous eye injury are more likely to develop retinal tears. Additionally, those with certain medical conditions, such as diabetes or high blood pressure, may be at an increased risk for developing retinal tears. A retinal tear can be caused by a variety of factors. The most common cause is trauma to the eye, such as a blow to the head or an object striking the eye. Other causes include aging, which can cause the vitreous gel inside the eye to shrink and pull away from the retina, and certain medical conditions such as high myopia, nearsightedness, or diabetes. In some cases, a retinal tear can be caused by a sudden increase in pressure inside the eye, such as during a sneeze or cough. Treatment for a retinal tear typically involves laser surgery or cryotherapy. During laser surgery, a laser is used to create small burns around the tear to seal it and prevent further detachment. Cryotherapy involves freezing the area around the tear to create scar tissue that will help keep the retina in place. In some cases, a gas bubble may be injected into the eye to help keep the retina in place while it heals. In more severe cases, surgery may be necessary to repair the tear and reattach the retina. The prognosis for retinal tear is generally good. If the tear is detected and treated early, the risk of further complications can be minimized. With prompt treatment, the retina can usually be reattached and vision restored. However, if the tear is not treated in a timely manner, it can lead to retinal detachment which can cause permanent vision loss. Therefore, it is important to seek medical attention as soon as possible if you experience any symptoms of a retinal tear. Thank you for listening to this presentation brought to you by Talking Raymond. For information, check us out retinally.com info. Be safe. Love you.